Hey there, it's Dr. Guerrero, and I just wanted to provide you a quick review for the week one quiz in Anatomy 260. Um, normally, we don't get reviews in science classes, so I don't want to spoil you, but I do know that anatomy is the first science course at West Coast, so I want to start to structure your study habits and help you think in an organized way. So um, I will not be sending you this document. I'm just showing it to you and kind of telling you how I would uh, how I would review myself for this quiz, this upcoming quiz. What I've done is I've looked at your quiz, of course, and then I've broken up the material on the quiz into the four topics for this week. So chapter one, which was the introduction and orientation, uh, cells, tissue, and then the integumentary system. Okay. So for the introduction and orientation, you need to be familiar with anatomical position. Now, um, basic would be just to come up with the definition of it. But what I would do as a student uh, is I would put everything I know about anatomical position. So I would say, you know, um, you're lying flat on your back or uh, flat on back, palms facing up, I'm gonna put like supine. Okay, um, and I would pinkies to thighs or pinky finger to thigh, however you wanna put it. This is how I think in my head. So uh, it may not be the way that you think, but I just wanna kind of give you an idea. Make your notes as you go through to review for the quiz, but statistics show that you only remember 10% of what you read, okay? So make sure you're watching the lectures or you're watching some lecture. You don't have to use mine, but you're watching some lecture so that you're learning the material. Then you're typing in the notes. So that's two different medias, all right? And then discuss it with someone. If you can discuss it, if you can cover the material in three different ways, then you have a 95% chance better, uh, the, you have a better ability of remembering it to apply it on test and quiz questions, okay? So let's increase your chances of success by allowing you to prepare and, and be ready. So anatomical position is something that you'll need to be familiar with. And you can screenshot this, but you'll have to type your own review. Um, the directional terms like anterior, posterior, dorsal, ventral, superior, inferior, proximal, distal. The anatomical body regions. Um, you need to know like the four quadrants. Um, so, and then there's nine regions. And then you also need to know like caudal, uh, antecubital, okay? So um, stuff like that. So making sure you know the, the body regions. The levels of organization. So like cells is the smallest unit of life. A group of cells is a tissue. A group of tissues working together is an organ. Group of organs is an organ system. Group of organ systems is an organism. You'll need to know the 11 organ systems in the human body. There's quite a few questions on the quiz about this. So it'll ask you, it's matching the name of the system and then you you list the function, or, you know, choose from a drop down menu um, or it'll ask, here's this organ, what system does it belong to? So just being familiar with that. Um, the body cavities. The serous membranes, the anatomy of the serous membrane, like uh, visceral, parietal, the, um, the serous fluid, being familiar with that. And know the terms gross anatomy, microscopic anatomy, developmental, and systemic anatomy. For the second group, uh, second chapter is cells, so uh, cytology, which is the study of cells. Within this chapter, the main focuses that are covered on the quiz are the stages of mitosis, and I put them out here for you. Um, interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and then cytokinesis, which is not mitosis, all right? And um, know what occurs in each phase. And uh, so what that'll be matching or multiple choice. It'll give you a description and you'll choose the phase it goes with. Um, as far as the cell structures that are uh, discussed on the quiz, um, be familiar with the cell membrane, plasma membrane, the phospholipid bilayer, all the exact same thing, just different, num uh, different names, depending on who you're speaking to the mitochondria and the nucleus. On the next chapter, tissues, histology, and histology is the study of tissues. Um, you'll need to know a bunch of details about epithelial tissue. 
Um, it talks about it being simplified, stratified, not simplified. <clears throat> Simple, which is like one row, stratified, multiple rows, squamous, the flat pancake shaped cells, cuboidal, all of that's covered in lecture as well, but just the different um, cell types and cell organizations for epithelial tissue. It really is only touching on epithelial tissue here because we go right into the integumentary system. The other types of tissues will be covered in more detail just on future uh, quizzes, okay? So then for the integumentary system, of course, the functions and the organs, and that kind of relates back to up to what I mentioned in the first chapter. Know the layers of the epidermis in order, okay? From top to bottom or bottom to top, but make sure you know um, the thick and thin skin. Be familiar with dendritic cells, Merkel discs, keratinocytes, lamellar corpuscles, the hair follicle, erector pili, that's a muscle, I should put a muscle right there, the sebaceous glands, apocrine glands, ceruminous glands, eccrine glands, and merocrine glands. Okay, and I think that's everything for this. So I'm gonna um, stop, I'm gonna scroll up to the top and then go through it slowly so you can see everything I typed and you can make your own review. But this will help you for the week one quiz in Anatomy 260. Right. And please don't hesitate to email or uh, message me if you have any questions or I can help and join virtual hours as much and as often as you need to. I appreciate your time.